welcome back to the uh, Midwest Sports Show. Is that a problem? What is what a problem? I can't hear you. You can't hear me? No. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. I'll oh, okay. You. Oh, there you are. I got it. Yep. Yeah. Hey, uh, oh, this is for Memorial Day. Well, welcome to the Midwest Sports Show uh-huh. Memorial Day mm. Sports Show Memorial Day Afternoon Edition. Right. Are we are we at the nation's cap or are we at Soldier Field? This is um we're this we're, this is right after uh, Sesame Street. Oh, I know where we are. We're oh, it's great to be in Chicago, right and outside Soldier Field. We are live outside Soldier Soldier yeah, Field, yeah, which which is I don't people, know how people, they managed to destroy. I, it was beautiful, and then they put the other stadium. It used to be a historical landmark, and then I think they lost their landmark status after they put that other stadium inside it. Well, it looks like a neoclassical uh, mixed yeah. with a uh, office park uh, <laughs> addition with Isn't the uh, amazing those disgusting green windows that every building has now. Yeah, these yeah. days. Yep. Uh, but yes, we are at uh, Soldier Field. Great to be here. Uh, weather- mo- a memorial to the fallen soldiers. Am oh, I right, right. Not correct yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. To our, all our followers. and to all our people still alive, such as John and Al. Well, Hello. that that that's Veterans Day. It's hey. You better wait. You oh. got you got your day in November. Oh, today's right. t- today's in memory. My oh my uncle, uh, my mom's brother. He he passed away. He didn't pass away. He, he, he was died killed. in the war, right? Yeah, World War Two. <laughs> I yeah. don't think he, so this he was is, only 19. I don't think he... Uh, well, he passed away, but I don't think it was sleep, yeah, peacefully in his sleep, no, right? No, he got... Yeah. Um, yeah well, uh, this is his day. Make sure oh, you yeah, remember that. Oh, yeah, everybody else. Oh, and back in my hometown, I marched in 10 Memorial Day parades, but today's and today's parade was called off due to bad weather. Uh, what, in L.A.? Um, in, no, in, oh. in Iowa, well, in my hometown. There's, like, flooding all over the state, right? Yeah, it's all been bad. Mississippi? Yeah, not good. Yeah, not good. All right, well, Gene, it's the uh, Midwest Sports Show. My name Hello. is uh, Chris Dodson. You're uh, Gene Steiger. Oh, yeah, and another one I dedicate, although I wasn't a veteran, uh, Bill Buckner lost the great. Oh, do you have that? Uh, he what? died, too. Bill so, Buckner died? Yeah. Did they just announce that? Is that yes. late breaking news? Oh, yeah, okay. Jeremy Shep. But do you know what? I saw him at I saw him at uh, spring training, and I thought there was something really wrong. I, I, it, he... But he has that Louis or the Louis disease where it takes your body. Remember? What uh, Lou Gehrig disease? No, it's not that. It's a different one, but it's similar to that. All right. Was he not? Wasn't he like an alcoholic or something like that? I don't. Know. Don't start throwing. Don't no, say that about well, Bill. Gene, you become the uh, the goat, not, and not, I don't mean the greatest of all time. Oh. I literally mean the goat. No. Of Boston. I, but when I saw for twenty him in, years. But when way. I saw him in spring training, I go, "Oh, something must be really wrong with him." But he was still there signing autographs. Getting money, getting paid to sign autographs. Hey, I have a Bill Buckner ball at home. He's probably um, made more money off that play than I he know. ever made as a uh, oh, right, player's right, salary, right? right? Yeah. yeah. So to all the veterans who are not with us anymore. Yeah. Hey. The show's dedicated to you. Uh, oh, right. So you guys can listen to the big podcast in the sky. And. Uh, yeah. And uh, Bill but Buckner. You know what? Oh, I know. That was tough. He was a great cup. Sports helps. With the. <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm I think this is true. So sports the helps. Healing. Yeah, for a lot of people, for a lot of veterans, and a little sports in their life that helps them get through some tough days. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love. Uh, Although the Cubs aren't helping out Cub veteran fans. Today. I love all these uh, sports teams that uh, use the military yeah. and Veterans Day and Memorial Day and oh. all this stuff to uh, use them as a shield to. Uh, you know, provoke uh, patriotic uh, feelings towards that right, said right. sport. Um, I don't know. I think it's kind of disgusting, actually, the way that oh, these wow. guys uh, use the military. They don't, to, uh, they don't really care about any of this stuff. The uh, the breast cancer, the awareness, because Major yeah, League thing. Baseball. This is just lips. This is just marketing, Gene. This is just PR. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Well, I mean, it is nice that they bring on the you know the guy and let him throw the baseball and all that stuff. Right. Uh, but I'll tell you what, if it wasn't Memorial Day, do you think anyone would care? Mm, I'd care. I, I would have been a good, I think I would have been a good soldier. I might have been, <laughs> I might have moved up the ranks. I would have went. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have volunteered, but if I was drafted or something, I would have went. And I, I think I would have, I probably, well, I think I would have been an officer at some point if I would have <laughs> survived. I hope so. But anyway. Gene, you would have been franked <laughs> by your unit. I might, I might not have made it. 
Yeah, they wouldn't have made a movie Saving Private Ryan, which is going to be in theaters again pretty soon. So it's Field of Dreams. Uh, but I don't know if they would have went on a hunt for me. Just no. find me. No. Okay. They, they would have hunted you. Yeah. They would have yeah. literally just hunted you. All right. Well, Gene, we're going to talk uh, about sports. Okay. A yeah. lot, 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 lot of hoops this week, Gene. Oh, I'm I, I'm 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 taking a break from being a Bucks fan it's after the, uh, what they did. <laughs> I'm gonna now, that was about being, five minutes. So I'm going to uh, be back to being neutral. All right, uh, a Bulls fan. Uh, no, chance. I, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a Bucks fan next year. Well, but Gene, I'm gonna take a break. It was the uh, the last Bucks game of the year, so you may not mm. see much uh, hoops for another uh, six months. So yeah, we're gonna get I all in. I'm not uh, this week. T- totally. Thrilled with the ma- well, whatever. Gene, if who, you who cares? if you remember who last cares? week, what I think. Uh, that's my point. Who cares what I think? If we if you remember last week, uh, yes. we were talking about like how the Bucks were going to dispatch. I know. The I Raptors. thought the Bu- I was hoping the Bucks were going to win the NBA title. And they're what? what well, they're up two um, zero, or had they lost? Yes, the they game? were up two nothing. Two zero, looking they good. They won both games at home. They had home court advantage. Oh my! And God. then they go to Toronto, and uh, you know what? They Tor- Toronto's two. fired up. Right, Drake was all uh, over the place. Drake is acting like he's an assistant you can't, coach. Yeah, uh, they, they, uh, they, Drake. He, you can't overcome him. That's what uh, the Milwaukee. Who do they have? Oh, they have Aaron Rodgers though, and they have the lineman who chugs beer. So I guess that wasn't enough well, to overcome we get, Drake. We, we got a lot to talk about, but uh, yeah, Drake was acting like a fool. Right, and uh, I mean, is this his first? By the way, do do we have pictures of Drake? You know, uh, at courtside, you know, during Vince Carter's days or anything. I mean, I know he wasn't probably rich back then. Right. Although he was on the Wait, Musketeers, right? He wasn't makes... he a Musketeer or something? Drake? Like yeah, no. he was like a Musketeer, right? I don't think so. He was on he, like a TV show. No, I don't. No, he was on like a teen TV show. Like yeah. maybe it was in Canada. He's worth a lot of money. Him and Kanye fight a lot on Twitter. And, and you know, he, he was uh, laughing at Giannis, you know, yeah. missing free throws. Right, right. Uh, Giannis had a tough. He had a tough go you know, around. And and TNT, you know, they love showing Drake. Right. You know, they they because Drake's definitely more entertaining than the goddamn product on the actual court. Wait a second. So they're showing Drake mm. acting like a fool. And by the way, that's okay to show. It's okay to show Drake acting like right, an idiot. Right. But you can't do the okie dokie sign. All right, a Cubs on game? TV. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what? but if you, you can't turn it, you can't turn. I, 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 what, I don't what if that guy was doing you can't a? Uh, do it, you can't turn it upside down. Well, what if he started you giving do it, that, You can do. What that. if he started doing it, giving him a back massage on that uh, on that telecast? Think right? Would he been five. suspended for that? Yeah, Drake, the Cubs guy. I like Drake when he fights with Kanye. That's the only thing I know about him. But I know his music is popular. I don't know, and he yeah. loves Toronto. For what some. a fool! Is he? He must be Canadian. I'm guessing. I don't know. Too bad, box. Gene, you got your you got the pulse of the pop culture right there. You know less about pop culture no, than I, I know, do. I know Drake is popular. Yes, he's from Canada. He's from Toronto. Yeah. Okay. You, well, that now I know. Either. There's two things I know. All right. Yeah. So they lose game five. Yeah. Oh no, no. So they what? Uh, they lose game uh, three. Yeah, they lost three and they four. They lose game Toronto. four. The fifth. That was a crucial it's one. Two, it, it's two two. Going yeah. back to Milwaukee. I think they were winning game five. And then uh, on Game 5, they lose Game 5, back yeah. in Milwaukee. And uh, a lot of the uh, Milwaukee celebs, the Wisconsin-Milwaukee celebs that were That was attendance. great. That was great how the Packers showed up. And Ryan Braun, or not Ryan Braun, uh, Yelich. Yeah, Yelich was there. he's not even from Wisconsin. Yeah, exactly. He's probably a, a Laker fan or something like that, or yeah. a Cooper fan. Uh, and then uh, a lot of beard chugging going on. Mm. So they they showed uh, Yelich and I think uh, Bakhtari, who's an offensive lineman. Yeah, he must Bakhtari. be good, right? Yeah, he's, he's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, and uh, Yelich, they, everyone's like chug, chug. I don't, by the way, were they showing this on the broadcast? I think so. I Do think we, so because because Aaron Rodgers saw it on the big screen because that Packer lineman, that guy wasn't sitting next to Aaron Rodgers. I think he was across the court. Was he was sitting next to Yelich? Wasn't he? Wasn't he someone next been. to Yelich? I, yeah. I could be wrong about that. But Roger, uh, Aaron Rodgers is next to the Bucks. So Yelich, daughter. Yelich couldn't really finish the whole beer right. himself. No. And then uh, then they go to A Rod. Uh oh. I, I love how uh, automatically all these guys from you know live playing Wisconsin now automatically have to be uh, binge drinkers. <laughs> how everyone's encouraging <laughs> the binge drink. Well, you're one of us now. I know, I know, and it it kind of took off 
Wisconsin's got what what we figure we they had that list and they they uh yeah drunkest they, cities they, or drunkest what? state in the country and they have like uh, t- twelve of the top twenty they have a lot in the top twenty yeah Milwaukee's included Milwaukee Appleton I don't know Oshkosh everywhere well, look at my shirt it's getting right. all uh, different color yeah so. Uh, and then uh, Bakhtiari, uh, the the giant offensive lineman, he can actually uh, finish the beer. Uh, big shocking right there. Mm. So this is all going viral and go, going all popular. And then uh, Matthew Stafford, that was awesome. Uh, right, Lions quarterback gets in on it. Right, his uh, his wife's uh, you know mm. uh, trying to survive chemotherapy. Right, and uh, he's posting Instagram videos of him uh, chugging uh, alcoholic beverages. All right. Yeah. And uh, I mean, first well, of all, Matt. It, first of all, Matt. Matt. <laughs> oh, don't say. First of all, Matt. Matt. No one um, asked you. First of all, Matt. <laughs> don't no, I'll tell you what. No one was um, looking at Aaron Rodgers chugging a beer and thinking, "Man, I wonder what Matt Stafford's take is on this." <laughs> yeah. And uh, second of all, Matt. Matt. Um, Matt. How are the Pistons? How are the Pistons <laughs> do this year, huh? How would you yeah. go to a Pistons game? They made the playoffs. Yeah, I got swept by the they just got swept by the Bucks, right? The Bucks because oh, I was talking about oh, the, the Bucks. I was yeah. saying Ben Wallace not going through that door. Rip Hamilton. Oh right, right, yeah. Yep. Oh boy. So uh, thanks, Matt, for uh, yeah going in on that. And then uh, and by the way, Gene, again, uh, any wonder why people in Wisconsin become alcoholics? Why? Because uh, <laughs> some guy <laughs> with a beer is on the uh, sta- stadium TV, and everyone's like, chug, 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 chug. 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 Yeah. Well, this is their MVP quarterback and uh, <laughs> right left fielder. Right yeah, fielder, who's whatever. right in the middle of the season. Yeah, but go ahead, chug. I don't know. I I think it's pretty. Well, I don't know. I I was never a chugger. Right. But and then game six. I did try a funnel. Have you? Did you ever? No, funnel? I've never done that. I'm afraid I would. I'm afraid I would choke. Yeah. Yeah. Game six. All right. So game six. It's three two. I uh, watched Raptors. a lot of that one. I watched the kind of the first half, kind of on and off. Yeah, and uh, I was just disgusted by the product. Again, I just uh, these what basketball. What is wrong games. with you and the product? <laughs> just You're not, playing basketball. This, How complicated this stuff can is, be? None of this stuff is entertaining. I'm what sorry. do you want? I want. Let's see some. Uh, What's pa- How about some passing? Oh, How about some plays? How about some strategy? How about some uh, anything? Well, you would have loved Bill. How about Walton not falls? How about no whistles? Okay. How about we swallow the whistles? Right. How about that? Hmm. And uh, Giannis, Giannis. Yeah, Sh- shooting f- three pointers, How and yet yeah, it's cool that he's making some. But uh, you know, it, it, it's it's game six of the playoffs. You guys are on a three two. I mean, let's let's put the three point shot away oh, and boy. get underneath the basketball. You know, <laughs> you don't know it. You clearly, I I don't know what I'm talking about, but I admit it. You really don't know what you're talking about. Uh, this guy, why is he shooting threes? They were winning. The why? Bucks, I was optimistic because they were up the whole game till. They and then, weren't. Gene, so I, I, I turned this off, and yeah. then I uh, started playing video games. I'm like, okay, because oh, the so Bucks didn't see the fourth because the Bucks were up by like seven by halftime, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm and like, then, th- I'm like, there's no way the NBA is going to let the Bucks lose. And what is, they're going to make it go to game mm, seven? No. So no. then I uh, check a little bit later, and then the Raptors are up by like five. With yeah, like they 30 took a seconds lead. left. Yeah, they they took a lead somewhere. Wow, we're so specific. Where they took a lead somewhere in the fourth it's quarter. Like, it's like listening to Bill Simmons. Never here. listened. Yeah, never looked back. There. And uh, yeah, so I uh, you know I flip back on the game. Yes. And uh, all I see is a uh, referee looking at a uh, computer monitor to do a replay. And again, Gene, this is this is what this is like one of the most popular sports in the world is, and the last right. 30 minutes of this is just watching a ref look at a monitor Your for attitude, these replays? It's got to improve. Got I mean, improve what, what, what's final. going on here? I don't know. I mean, do we really need to look at every tip, every yeah. foul, every footprint, every right. every every slap? I mean, every ball movement. I yeah. mean, uh, every fart, every one time someone picks their nose. I mean, Jesus Christ. Mm. And again, Gene, I, you know, you think about the four major sports, right? Uh, you're not going to include NASCAR? No. Okay. Well, even on NASCAR, you got the yellow flag, right? Yeah. Or the blue flag or the green flag, whatever it is. I don't think they wouldn't qualify as a fourth, even fifth. Golf would be ahead of yeah. them, probably. You, you look at golf, you know. Right. 18th hole, up by one stroke. Yes. Ma- make this putt. Uh, baseball. You know, the, I'm talking about the ends of the games here, the ends of the sporting events. You know, baseball, bottom of the ninth, two outs, bases loaded, three balls, two strikes. Mm-hmm. Football. Two-minute two warning. 
Yes. Uh, two minute drill. Right. You know, got to score. Got to got to go for the two pointer. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's what's hockey? Hockey. Okay. Overtime. Uh, it's a long way to get to your point, but yeah. And then more. and then the NBA. Okay, there you go. The NBA is uh, foul, mm-hmm. and then shoot f- free throws. So stop the game, stop the flow of the game, <laughs> and let's uh, let's do the worst oh the 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 the, 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 pl- the the thing that no one likes about uh, basketball the free yeah. throws. Yeah. Let's watch a bunch of guys. Let's watch a bunch of seven footers shoot free throws, Gene. Mm-hmm. S- s- sounds like a great product to me. Well, I don't, I don't. I, sounds like I, a great sport. I know. And now I, they got these stupid replays oh where they're challenging every single thing. It's like, yes, well, I know. Can we like this is just run amok? Mm. Like, how about we give these guys challenges? Right. So we, I mean, every sport does instant replay now, but I mean, they're doing every single play in the NBA games these days. Yes, James. it can. It, it's ridiculous. It, from a novice, it would appear you don't like watching basketball. I, I know they're trying to stuff full of commercials, and they're fine right. with it. And everyone's just like, oh, yeah, this is tense. This is intense. Mm. Like, is everyone just uh, hypnotized? <laughs> Am I the only one with uh, clear blinders? <laughs> I, I, Again, I, I feel like I'm Roddy, Ro- Rod, Rodney Piper. Who? Rowdy, Rowdy Piper. R- Rowdy, Rowdy Who Piper. We lost as well. Yeah, and, and they live where he's the only one with sunglasses, and he yeah. realizes that everyone's taken over by aliens. Oh, boy. What? I mean, wake up, people. Okay. This this NBA thing is garbage. It's shit. Wow. And, uh, Gene, you know, I, I was saying that I think the NBA wants the MVP yes. to be in the uh, finals. Well, I obviously not. Yeah, they would rather have the whole country of Canada. They want thirty. Who who, who would you rather have? Mm. The whole state. Oh, I'm sorry. The whole country of Canada, thirty-five million people, or Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which has like what, six hundred thousand people. Milwaukee. Yeah. And and uh, city of Milwaukee. Yes, because that would overcome all the bad press from having Jeffrey Dahmer. If you're what? What's the NBA commissioner? uh, Adam Silver. Fester. (laughs) <laughs> Uncle, F- he's like the he's like the son yeah. of like Fester and uh, the super, dad, yeah, the tall dad. Raid him. He wouldn't Adam make his, Silver. He wouldn't make a career out of modeling, probably. Yeah. Well, goodbye, Bucks. So. Well, good for Toronto though. They've never made the final. So uh, Canada, Canada is a great country. There are neighbors. I I got nothing wrong with Canada. Okay, there you go. All right, so there you go, Gina. Yeah. <laughs> This is why I don't like the NBA. It's just garbage. Well, it's garbage. I think it's pretty apparent. All right. Yeah. Uh, other news. Here's some uh, good news. Uh, Juan Howard. <laughs> Juwan. Ju- is it Juwan? Yes. <laughs> he's not. He's not. He's not Mexican. He's not- Juwan. Who named their kid Juwan? What the? It's hell? It's always been Juwan Howard. He a- didn't do anything different. <laughs> why would you name? Who would, why would his the name one, be right, Juan? I, I try to pronounce it like uh, with a Hispanic accent. And doesn't even know how you pronounce he, it. Does he look Hispanic? <laughs> Why? He's that, I, listen, I, I hate to say it, but this is why black people are so dumb with their names. No, it, it's it's one. It's okay. not it's not Juan. All right, all right. Uh, Easy there, cowboy. Anyways, the Heat assistant and former Wolverine Juan uh, Juan, 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 Juan Howard. Howard is expected to be named. He was named Michigan head coach. Yeah, per Miami Beat. Uh, so Juan Howard. I don't know. Former he, Fab Five, Gene. Yeah. Good. New what, Michigan head coach. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. That I don't know. I we'll and see. Then, uh, they so, had a really good coach. So before, speaking about the Fab game. Five, Jalen Rose just said Michigan's hiring of Jawan Howard will bring together the Fab Five, including him and Chris Weber. No mm. more walls. No more bickering. Fab Five reuniting for the greater good. I don't think so. I think Chris Weber. They've always been reunited, minus Chris Weber. Well, Chris Weber's never gone along with it. Gene, I don't think you're going to see Chris Weber at Michigan games now. Gene, uh-uh. Gene, what? Time out. Time <laughs> out, Gene. Time oh out, everyone. Gosh. Time. <laughs> hey, it's a good thing they didn't win the national title. They never won it, but they would have had to vacate it anyway. Well, wait, is, they so, they had to vacate all their stuff they did so, on the court. So so is that why he's like upset because uh, yes. he didn't admit that he got paid or something? Yeah, like that? And or he because... got blamed. He got a, a lot of the blame for it, and he never. Yeah, he yeah thought Chris, he took... you're you're a, you have a hundred million dollars in the bank, right? So, right. Uh, I think he thought he was portrayed unfairly. Without maybe, I don't know. 
Mm. No one ca- no one cares about that, right? Yeah. No, well, I mean, I mean, maybe if you're in enough to vacate their their final four stuff. Oh, that stuff, yeah, but yeah. no one cares about that. I mean, I everyone's know. doing it. Maybe they don't. Good luck, Juwan. I'm glad cuz I don't think Michigan's going to be as good anymore and that will help Iowa. Yeah, well. I'll tell you what, uh Michigan fans, yeah, this uh, is right at you. D- Watch what be careful what you wish for. What are you going to say? Well, hey, uh 20-year-old Juwan Howard ain't walking through that door. Oh. Chris Weber, he ain't walking through that door. They had they 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 they, they were second sure. two years ago, and they they uh, better. They better Jalen play. Rose isn't walking through that. Who else was? They uh, had, who's their the players pie? these last few years was good as um, well, um, maybe not as good, but they've still finished second. They were in the final four twice. And if they do walk through that door, they're going to be old and great. Yeah, and that, that actually will happen probably. All right, yeah, they can't play. They're they're, they're professionals now. They can't play. Well, yeah. hey, maybe they'll come back and uh, finish, get their degrees, Gene. How about right. that? Well, good luck, Tom. All right. And then Gene, uh old Chicago Bull, Dennis Rodman. He's a Detroit when he when he's committing crimes, is he, he's on a crime <laughs> spree right now. He's a Detroit <laughs> Piston. San he's not a Chicago Bull. Isn't he? He's won nine championships, hasn't he? Didn't he have uh, two for the Pistons, two for the San Antonio, and then three for the Bulls? Could be. Doesn't he have ten or some some crazy that, number like that? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, he's accused of randomly slapping uh, a guest at his 58th birthday party. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's the least. Well, that might not be the least of his problem, but he's got other issues. I think uh, sobriety. Well, he looks not... like he's in good shape. <laughs> he looks he's... like he's in playing shape. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Gene, as a Bulls fan, you tell me, what is uh, the a, Bulls I'm... fan's relationship with uh, Dennis Rodman? Uh, Do you guys I, just try to act I, like he not, doesn't exist? I'm, I'm really not an expert on this, but I think the Bulls, I think they're, they're uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think they're on the same page. He's going around. He's a menace to society right now. That, we can't have that. Who do Bulls fans dislike more, uh, Dennis Rodman or Horace Grant? Oh, my gosh. Because Horace Grant, he was the face of the he, lottery. He was talking crap about uh, the magic, right? Yeah. The Orlando Magic. Or while he was on the magic? Mm, could be. About the Bulls or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So Dennis Rodman. He's going to – I don't know what's going to happen to All him. Right, but so that concludes our hoops segment for the hey, year. Good job. What? There's nothing positive. <laughs> I mean, look, look at the sport. Okay. The joke. All right. All yeah. right. And then, uh, Gene, we're going to uh, move over to uh, football. Football's yeah. great. It's going to be back um, pretty soon. Well, he, four moments. Here's kind of a crazy story. Uh, according to Brooke Fryer of the Kansas City Star. Mm-hmm. Uh, am I missing this here? No. Uh, Jerevon. <laughs> Jerevon cool. Sears threatened Tyron Matthew with alleged allegations of sexual misconduct and violence if he didn't receive millions in return in exchange for his silence. Per the complaint filed in Louisiana, Sears had threatened Matthew through calls and texts in which he demanded $1.5 million to deposit into his account. When Matthew blocked the number, he reached out again through a group text message demanding $5 million. By Friday, I'm done, I'm done talking, emailing TMZ now. Uh, quote, unquote, sick. Or mm-hmm. what do you call it? Per, per, right. Whatever. Uh, he was arrested and released in bond with appearance scheduled for court for Thursday. So... Basically, uh, an extended family. I, by the way, I want to know like what what family was it? Like second cousin, third cousin, or something right, like that. Right. Uncle, something like that. Have you ever been extorted by your family? Ever? Well, thank God I haven't made enough money to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but how about you, Gene? You ever had a uh, yeah, family some member? Cousins, I had to disown. <laughs> you had to cut oh ties. My gosh, yeah. They uh, asked for too many pairs of uh, p- free underwear, and you had to cut them oh off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I made the mistake once. We had a party, and and I and I said at a bar, and we had open bar, and I, I should have put some restrictions on it because <laughs> I didn't. Remember. Our fan, my extended family, they can they can knock them back pretty yeah, good. Like, uh, yeah. you're, you, you can't take the kegs home. You can't, <laughs> right, right. You have to drink it here. You no can't. top shelf. No top shelf. <laughs> Stay off the top shelf. You know. No. So. Uh. So uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Man, it seems like a lot of these. Ext- I bet a lot of this extortion happens without people even knowing about it. I mean, look at Letterman. Yeah. Look at Matthew here. Right. Poor guy, the honey badger. The honey badger. Yeah. yeah I'll tell you what, Winnie the Pooh never had that problem. Never, <laughs> never saw that story depicted in Winnie the Pooh. Well, I think Barney may have been 
Uh, Barney was... The dinosaur? Yeah, I think he might have run into some issues, and I think Big Bird did as well, possibly. What, Barney? Barney was... Uh, or one of, the, one of the puppeteers? I think it was Big Bird. He might have run into some scandals. Oh, wasn't there like sexual harassment or yes. something? Yes. Yeah. I think he was walking in on uh, S- uh, Snuffleupagus <laughs> changing <laughs> That's in the dressing room. Ernie and Bert. Bert and Ernie. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Gene, we're going to move yeah. over to, uh, oh, not over, but uh, I've got some odds and ends from the great state of Ohio. Mm, I uh, love the Ohio. Home, the home I'm football, a big right? fan. They they would make my top ten list. Ever since being in Cleveland when the Cubs won the World Series, I've loved Ohio. All right. Uh, well, Gene, the uh, NFL draft in 2021 will be in Cleveland. That's awesome. Ohio. I would love to go to a Cleveland game because – uh, there. Oh, I hope they win the Super Bowl if Jim, the Packers are Bears. Do you think Joe Thomas might be anywhere around? Yes, the, the city that that, that yeah. day. I got a feeling he, he's a fisherman. Yep. Um, and then Adam Pacman Jones, former uh, former Cincinnati oh Bengal, uh, announced his retirement. He, uh, he we got when no one signed you and nobody he's <laughs> gonna get suspended anyway if he did sign. He, uh, yeah, I. We'll see. I mean, he owes well, a lot of money to a lot of people. He's had some. Ex- see a lot of fines. He has still has to pay back. Well, yeah, I, civil suit again. He's done some bad stuff. I don't. I don't like the way he behaves off the field. Well, he's gonna, not a good example. He's going to have to stomp on other people's th- ankles on his own. I time think now. he's going to be broke if if he isn't already. <laughs> well, yeah. Gene, with a with a name like Pac Man, I'm sure he's uh, right. very good with money, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oof. Not a good guy at all. All he's right. I didn't play in the movie. Uh, so there you go, Ohio. It's a moment yeah, in the so goddamn sun. Cincinnati. They got to they gotta look at some of their choices. Yep. Be more like Cleveland, Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah. Although right. Cincinnati is pretty cool. All right. Cincinnati. So, and then, Gene, sad news uh, oh, in Packer I saw Land. him. Uh, well, no, he wasn't there. Last, I think I saw him. The last time, oh, I don't know if he was there. Like, last year, they honored all the veterans. He might have been there when I was there, yep. opening night. Well, we're talking about yeah. Bart Starr. Mm. Former quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, when won a whole lot of championships with the Packers before the Super Bowl and won the first two Super Bowls right. with the Packers. So he and won, infamously think... called the QB sneak. Oh, in, in the, the ice in bowl. the ice bowl. Nineteen sixty-six, eight, seven, seven, whatever, sixty-seven. Yeah, before the first Super Bowl was it or second? Yeah. I think that was the first one. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Gene, this was before my – and I guess he was a coach for like 10 years. He was not a good coach. Like <laughs> I don't think he was very – I think he coached the Packers, didn't he? he had yeah, a he car coached de- the Packers. Yeah. He was better at being a he, – he had a car dealership. I think that was much more successful than his coach. His coaching stuff didn't go well. That didn't – that was bad. And it kept him around for a while, I think. Yeah, they Ooh. kind of felt bad for him. Right. And then, uh, of course, uh, a couple of years ago when they honored Brett Favre uh, during Thanksgiving, uh, mm. the game when they played against the Bears, Brett Favre would not uh, go to the game unless Bart Starr appeared. Oh, my God. And, of course, it rained. It was terrible. It was in November. And yeah. uh, I think Bart Starr got, like, a n- pneumonia. 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 Yeah. So, a lot uh, of people think that might have killed them. I think, uh, yeah, Bart Starr. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people suffer. are saying. No, what are you, I Donald mean, Trump? A lot of people ago. are saying. I don't know. He's 85. That's that's pretty good. That's well, pretty he good. Pre- he may have made 95, but uh, Brett, Brett wanted um, to have old Bart. Yeah. I hope you're happy now, Brett. But I think he had other issues, too. So, mm. Yeah, he was a football player. So yeah. Give me back to him. So, yeah. So, well, so long, old uh, Goodbye, Bart. Uh, old Bart. But what a, what a wow, what a legend, man! Pretty great. Yep, yep. All right, and then Gene. Yes, it's uh, one of my favorite segments. Oh, worst state of the week. Worst state. We, All right, we're bringing let it back. Me, let me see. It's got to be a Midwest state, right? So uh, this is the uh, segment of the show where uh, mm. maybe multiple news stories have come out yeah. from one state. I'm trying to think of Iowa. Hopefully and we. Ooh. Because of that, we uh, nominate it as the worst state of the Midwest. Mm. And what is it going to be this week? Uh, hopefully not Iowa. I got a the, the one bad Iowa is always in Iowa. Hopefully not. Well, Gene, do you know where Winnebago County Uh-oh. is? That's in Minnesota. Well, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of Winnebago counties, oh, but I'm I, talking about the one. I don't know. In northern Iowa. Oh, no. As you can see on the map right <laughs> there. There they are. 
Where? Oh, the they're up by Minnesota. I yep. think that's Minnesota up there. What they um, do? According to the Mason City Golden oh, Globe yeah. Gazette, mm. reports police were called Tuesday to the Winnebago County Courthouse mm. after the board meeting adjourned. Police say the 63-year-old Winnebago County Supervisor uh, Stensroud, uh oh, had been drinking alcohol from a cup during the meeting. Oh, and. An alcohol breath test showed he had a blood alcohol level of uh, 0.09. Uh oh. Anything above 0.08 is considered legally intoxicated. Yeah. By the way, uh, talk about s- n- Civil War II. If they lower this drinking age any lo- or lower know, this blood I alcohol know. any lower, I think we're going to have a civil it's war gonna here. Be, it's going to be any discernible. Discernible, it, is that the right it's word? It's going to be, if you even look at a beer, yeah, you're going to get a DUI. Yeah, it's going to be one of those, yeah, if you have any in your system. 0.08, right? I mean, this is just this That's is just across much. the board? I yeah. mean, I, I, it's, it is now. It used to be 0.10, and then they lowered it 0.08. Yeah. Mm. Uh, one. <laughs> Well, that's not it, Gene. Uh-oh. Uh Legally intoxicated. Uh, when asked if he was armed, <laughs> Sainz Root acknowledges having a pistol, Uh-oh. which an officer took from his pocket. So oh, no. Winnebago County Supervisor mm. getting drunk mm. uh, from a from a quick trip, Slurpee, mm. and then uh, packing heat. Oh boy! Uh, to go to the uh, County Supervisor meeting. What wow. uh, is 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 uh, the Department of Water and Power? Mm. Is uh, you guys have beef with them or something or what? <laughs> What's going on there? Did something else happen in Iowa as well? No, that was just that one story. So I... Oh, no, I got another one. Oh, okay, all right. The Bachelor's on trial. You know, he killed them. Uh, <laughs> one of the Bachelors? The Bachelor. Remember that that, that one? I don't, Chris something? He's a farmer. And then <laughs> yeah. he yeah. he's on. After he, re, re, he was a Bachelor. And then he picked a woman. Then they broke up, of course, as I do. And then he killed a guy on his tractor. Because he has a farm. He's a farmer. The bachelor's a farmer. And then uh, his, I don't know, they're going through all this stuff now. Well, determined. Better than losing a finger, I guess, right? Yeah. But he so. was he was drunk. Well. So his yeah. trial started or he was uh, no, arrested? No, I think. Oh, yeah. It was, it was like over a year ago, I believe. But he was driving intoxicated. And then <laughs> he, he killed the guy who was on his tractor. That's the only time. I mean, you have a crash in Iowa and his tractor. And I don't know. It's not good. Yeah, you, you, tractors, uh, mm-hmm. snowmobiles, right. uh, l- lawnmowers. I don't know. Yeah. We, we talk about like drunk driving on uh, you know cars all the time. Yeah. But, uh, how about all this other machine? Right. Probably way more dangerous. Right. I mean, Very yeah, dangerous. That's, that's yeah. So if you're gonna if you're gonna get in an accident, try not to get in an accident with a veteran today. Yep. Yeah. No. Yep. All right. Well, Gene. Happy Veterans we, Day. We uh, I think we learned a lot today. We did. We really did. <laughs> We did, didn't we? Yep. We did. I learned a lot from you, so thank you. Well, I, I like to say this uh, shows educate. We don't like to just entertain. Oh. We like to educate. Yeah. So I think we uh, oh. did our job. So I would like to thank everybody and Kathy and Larry and Jim in Omaha. Kathy's in Madison. And Jim's in, in Nebraska and then Al's in Dubuque and John's in California. So look at all the states we're reaching. Yeah, global. Well, We're mid- Midwest, yeah, Midwest. I guess. You know what's great about Wisconsin, and I follow it, and and uh, I I learned this from Kathy and Larry. But the turkeys of Madison, so there's turkeys just roaming around Madison, and they love it there. They're treated very really well. So anytime uh, they're like, they're like cows in Calcutta. Yeah, right? yeah, and 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 then they they have their own Facebook page, the Turkeys of Madison. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, conspiracy theories swirling around uh, mm-hmm. that Facebook group about anti-vaxxers and stuff like that. Yeah, these turkeys. Yeah. Yeah, they're talking turkey on there. But they're they're welcome <laughs> in Wisconsin. Wisconsin's a great state. I it's my second favorite state outside of Iowa. It is. Illinois would be better if if it, if it, <laughs> the tolls. One thing. <laughs> I, when I say <laughs> Illinois, oh no, you're talking about <laughs> Iowa. Okay. The tolls, they say Illinois. The tolls are they're they're wearing me out. The tolls in <laughs> Illinois. This is enough. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think that's it. I think uh, we should end it right there. So, you know what? For Gene Steichen. If you know back. a veteran who passed away, hopefully you yep. um, wish him well. We, yeah. All there, right. So, maybe they'll be in this time. For Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Dodds. It's been the Midwest Show. We'll see you guys next week.